All right, guys, so I am only doing this for you all, my loyal subscribers. I am out here, it is raining, and my wife came out here, cleaned this unit up, I got the generator running, I got all the slides out, so I can give you guys the long-awaited tour of the inside of this beautiful Van Lee Beacon by Tiffin fifth wheel. Absolutely gorgeous unit. We already looked around the outside of it. Check out the first introductory video if you want to see that. Like I said, we got the generator running in here. This is the Onan QG 5500 LP. Very quiet generator. It's already got a surge guard up there, protect from surges, which is also really nice. It's connected into both the generator as well as the shore power connection. But we're gonna take a quick walk around this absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous fifth wheel. Okay, so here we go. We're stepping up the LCI solid step into this 42 RDB. Check this out. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful interior. Now this is an all new interior color scheme that they have called Sterling. There's LED accent lights everywhere. They did the front in their white linen, which you might've seen in the video I did in Elkhart. And then they did this kitchen portion in Sterling, which is gorgeous. And I can't even tell if the camera picks it up very well, but it is absolutely beautiful. Coming over here, you have your Whirlpool refrigerator. I believe it's a Whirlpool. I can't really tell because they put these wooden panels on the door, which absolutely dresses it up, and it covers up the brand. It's either a Whirlpool or an LG, but I am not so sure. You have your pantry over here. Beautiful, beautiful pantry. I love how they put these little cables that stop the doors from hitting things, so you don't put premature wear. Stops it right before it hits the cabinet. Over here, you have another really nice cabinet above here. Coffee station down here. Plenty of depth for a Keurig. Absolutely love the backsplash. I love this spider control panel. This is really cool. You get to things really quickly. You're able to control all three ACs, all your slides, your fans just everything, and it lets you know if there's any faults with any of the systems. I mean, it just provides a ton of information. You can turn all the lights off or on with one button or independently. And then around the side here, you have additional controls to do the same thing to turn lights on and off. Beautiful Insignia four burner residential style stove and oven. Absolutely gorgeous. Check out the size of some of these cabinets. Plenty of space in these things for just about anything you want. Lots of drawers for silverware and utensils. Nice cabinets up top, as well as a Furion full-size residential microwave. More LED accent lighting. Check out this awesome farm-style sink. Very nice stainless steel basin. Large cabinets underneath. Plenty of space for a garbage can under there. You got more drawers here. Has a self-closing drawers. All the drawers power outlet right there. Beautiful, beautiful solid surface countertops here as well as back here. And this is kind of a, like a second coffee station where you could put a TV here. You could put just about anything here. More cabinets here again with little cables to prevent them from hitting the slides. A lot more storage down below. Over here, a lot of you folks who like to go out and drink wine, you have a beautiful, beautiful wine fridge and cooler right there. More drawers beneath. This kitchen is loaded with storage. Absolutely loaded with storage. This has to be probably the most beautiful kitchen I've seen in a fifth wheel. Guys, challenge me. If you think you've seen one that looks nicer, please let me know. Nice dinette. It has two standard chairs and then two folding chairs. We just got those all unpacked. Beautiful valances. Plus the day-night roller shades to black out the interior. I love how they use the soft material right here. And I also like the high gloss finish to all the woodwork. It gives it a much more upscale finished approach. Plus, this backsplash is absolutely gorgeous. And you can tell that they used actual grout in the seams between it. 
I also love how the solid surface countertop kind of conforms out to fit the depth of the stove. Gorgeous. Coming up the stairs, these are motion detecting lights, which are really nice. They put a nice grab handle here. You have your controls for your lighting and for your televator right here. I'm not gonna put it up all the way, but if I press the button, you can see it start to raise up. Very cool. This unit does have dual pane windows. Again, just take a look at all of the trim work, the valances, absolutely gorgeous. Something they do that's very different than the rest of the industry is they use a steel backer plate behind the board that these are all attached to. So it would be very, very difficult for one of these to be removed or to fall off during transit or any of that. They're just built exceptionally well and it's all beautiful hardwood. Very high-end class A style. Coming around this way, got a lot of storage next to this wide view fireplace. Again, check that out. You have a cable that stops it from hitting one of the sofas. Entertainment system over here, panoramic fireplace, huge window back here. This would be great if you're backed up to a lake or just some really nice scenery behind you. Wonderful sconce lights. I really like the look of the sconces on each side. Very modern. And they make the interior of this just feel and look that much more luxurious. Very, very nice size sofas. Now these might look like love seats, but they're actually wider than love seats. You could fit three, maybe even four people in each one very, very easily. And these actually fold out into beds. So this is a bed and that's a bed and they fold out into the center so you can have a really nice sleeping area here. And this is all Franklin residential furniture. So they're putting actual residential furniture inside of the coach and not the typical brand that you see in most RVs. Beautiful, beautiful theater style seating here plus some USB connections right there. I like these lit up cup holders. Again, more connections right here. You have power connections there. And you have more storage. And the theme of this unit is storage, storage, storage. And beautiful woodwork. But just check that out. Absolutely stunning. If you want to know why you might not see some things on this unit, like independent suspension or a solid fiberglass roof, you really don't have the need to upgrade to some of those components if you don't feel that they're worth it. And you can reinvest some of that in the area that you're probably spending most of your time, which is the interior. And that's what I assume they've done. When I have an opportunity to spend more time with them, I'm gonna find out specifically, you know, where the compromises were. Where did you shave cost off so you could add it back to this enormous, beautiful interior that's just finished out so well. Now let's work our way towards the back. First, we're gonna step into the lavatory. Absolutely gorgeous. I love how they've been able to give you a lot of countertop space here while still giving you the storage you're looking for, more storage, and a beautiful one-piece shower with this really interesting fold-up seat. Now this is interesting to me. I'm pressing down on it. I, you know, it feels a little springy. I haven't really heard of any complaints or seen any pictures of these things torn off the wall, but that kind of scares me and it kind of worries me because, you know, the way that these are framed and you want to mitigate any areas that could be prone to excessive stress. This looks beautiful, but perhaps just the standard seat area that's kind of molded in might be a little bit more longer lasting, more reliable in the long run. I don't know. Give me your opinion. Have you seen one of those fail before? I know a lot of brands are starting to put that in their higher end units. Porcelain foot flush toilet, along with rinser hose, bidet, whatever you want to call it. And then you have more controls over here very well lit very nice bathroom the tiles on the floor they're linoleum or vinyl tiles but they're hand laid which is also really nice so if you get really close to them you can actually feel the grout in between them there's still a little bit of sawdust in here it's definitely got a good shaking down on its way to texas and my wife came in and tried to clean up as much as she could this is your whisper quiet air conditioning system. So you have your return air ducts there, and then you have your blower registers right here, which blow the air out. And they've designed it so you pull more air in and it kind of squeezes the air out so you get more pressure, which is pretty innovative. Here's your bedroom, king size bed. I love how they've lowered the height too. So I believe they said it's four inches lower than typical mattresses, which sit up about this high. 
And this is perfect because my wife is shorter and getting on the bed can be difficult for people who might be shorter. And this bed is just the perfect height to get on. If you're taller, it's just that much easier as well. You have your controls right here as well plus USB outlets on the side. And I like how these little nightstands don't protrude over the bed. It's enough room for you to set your phone, plus to charge it. You have power right here. And I absolutely love the chair railing board that is right here. This is just beautiful to me. I don't know what the official name is for it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Let's take a look inside of this closet up front. Finished off as you'd expect. Nice area for shoes. Not a huge closet. It's reasonable size. I mean, I've seen some that you can walk into, but they obviously repurposed some of that space to give you room to get onto the bed. Not as much on that side, but it's not a huge closet, but it's definitely a very functional closet. And what really makes this room stand out is the fact that you have what's behind this door. And that's your splendid washer and dryer stackable units. Very, very nice. Plus, plenty of room in front of it. This is absolutely an enormous area between the end of the bed and the dresser. So you got plenty of room. Again, all self-closing drawers. Really nice little table area right here so you can put your wallet, purse, whatever you want right here. And you have plenty of room to do your laundry in front. Plus again, huge windows. Then on this side, you have a nice large TV. It looks to be 36 inches, maybe a 40 inch TV actually. I'm actually not sure anymore. A 42 inch TV back in the day was huge and it looked like an enormous TV when you were talking about flat panel TVs. Now, you know, this could be a 50 inch TV for all I know. Actually, I'm kidding. This is probably, I'm guessing 38 to 40 inch TV. So yeah, I'd like to know, what do you guys think about this unit? I think it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, just take another look. Beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel interior. You know, I told you guys I would look for areas of concern and I so far haven't really found any. The control panel here I thought was going to be more difficult to work. I did have to go through a few steps to get everything powered up. I had to turn the breakers on on the generator. I had to let it run for a while before the power management station kicked on and then all of a sudden I got the correct lighting in here. I saw the refrigerator light come on and I was able to power the whole unit up. But overall, this is absolutely gorgeous. And another thing they've done that's nice is they've moved the heat registers out of the center part of the floor. So you don't see any there. And I believe they actually put the heat register yeah, under the island right here. Another really nice thing is that the ceiling material right here is soft touch. It's really nice, something you might expect to see in a high-end Class A. But overall, you can tell that that's what they're going for. They're going for that high-end Class A interior feel. but honestly at a much more affordable price and something you can tow behind, you know, a dually pickup truck. Anyways, guys, I'd love your feedback. This is a unit we're going to have for six months. We're going to be able to take this out to all sorts of different places, test it out, see how things work, see what type of challenges we have. And they want your feedback. They want to know what you like about it, some of the challenges that you foresee. The one challenge I have, let me tell you right off the bat, right here, when this slide is in, this refrigerator is right here. You can't open that door. And this refrigerator butts up right here. You can't open that door. I would like the island to either shift that way, maybe two inches, or slightly shorter here. Notch this out, maybe move the drawers to some other configuration, or reverse this, right? Have this, well, this has to be large enough. And I think that would still be big enough to put this out here and notch it in here so you can access the refrigerator with all the slides in. Because right now, with all the slides in, you can access this area right here. You can access everything up front, including the bathroom and the bedroom. So if you needed to pull over in a Walmart parking lot or you just needed to spend the night in the unit and you didn't have room to put the slides up, you can do that. And I showed in a previous video, with this slide partially extended, you can make your way all the way up to the front, which means you could enjoy a movie even with all the slides in, except this one and this one just out slightly. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. Now is a perfect time. Take a moment, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on notifications by hitting that little bell. Give me a thumbs up, because that's really important to my channel, so I know that you enjoy the content I'm producing. And we're going to spend a lot of time in this, and we're going to show you all the great features of it, and any challenges we run into. Guys, we'll talk to you again very soon.